this is part of um, more installed these palm trees here. Right, he wanted like a palm tree planting in here, right? And there's a couple of palm trees that were collected in little atolls and in Melanesia, all right? And they were brought back here and planted in here. Since they were collected and planted here, right? Those atolls have been wiped out, like just completely deforested and cut down, right? And the only plants that you find of the sort are found in here now, which is really sad. I don't know which ones they are, but there's a couple in there. So they've got like little native bee hives around here too. Oh, is that what that yellow house is? Yeah. There's wild, there's wild, um, there's wild hives, like I was, I was saying to you, Tetragonia. Find them all around us. These plants here are part of the original flora of the gardens. Right. These ones just here? These no, little the, ones or the no, big ones? The big ones, Casarinas. Oh, no. the Casarinas. Right, and the Casarinas, this is a good, this is a good sort of a, a, a rundown in plants of Australia, right? Plant, there's plants in Australia that have, that have adapted and embraced fire in their in their um, environment, and they need it. It's part of their biology. You know, yeah. like like banksias, uh, eucalyptus, um, xanthorias. There's lots of different plants that that it's become part of their life. Okay, and there's plants in Australia that if they have to, they do things to survive it, right? And this is one of them. Okay, now if you look at the castorinas. This is one plant that's grown all these branches, like trunks off it, right? And they have this amazing root system. See here. They'll just sprout new plants. Wow. Right? <clears throat> so, traditionally, I was taught that this is where you stop burning. If you're, if you're managing country, castorinas, they, they fall that really thick layer of leaves that stop plants coming up through it. Okay, and this is where you stop burning because you usually find them near water as well. You don't want to burn plants that are near water. You want to keep them there. You want to reserve that water. Okay, but if a fire does rip through and kills these, like burns them, Underneath the ground, the safety of the dirt, you know, you've got this dynamic root system that'll just shoot plants up, right? And what's happened, like I was saying to you, this is the original shoreline, right? So over time, and mind you, these plants here are related to that one there. Right? So when they come down here and filled this in and cleared all the land and filled in, they would have ran it over, mowed it and stuff, right? <clears throat> Underneath the ground here, this root system's been trying to pop up, come up, come up, come up, come up, and then eventually it's come up there and it's come up there and they've left it. And like that mechanism that it, they have to survive fires has served it well in modernity, hasn't it, really? But um, man, yeah, we'll keep, come up this way. Where's your, where, where are your guys, where's your bikes? Just I think near the shop.